What does the word Easter mean? Look at me, friends. Easter is only once in the Bible used, that word. And it's totally wrong. It shouldn't be there. It was the translators who, me who messed it up. It should be Passover and first fruits, Because Easter, believe it or not, comes from the word Ishtar, which is another name for Samarimus, who was the wife of Nimrod, who was a God-hater back in Genesis. And the church has so messed up Easter, so messed up Christmas, that you can't get any truth from them at all. So Easter really actually means a heathen thing. It's to do with Ishtar. It's totally the wrong word. We should be talking about Passover, first fruits, and the different feasts of the Lord. Then number three, did Jesus die on a Friday? Of course not. That's, that's pure uh, uh, church tradition speculation. Jesus didn't die on a Friday. Fri Good Friday, he didn't die. He died on Wednesday. There is no way that you can get from Friday to even to Sunday morning, 72 hours. And the Bible says he would be there for 72 hours from he died. He died on Wednesday. The slip up comes because people have said, well, it's the day before the Sabbath, yes, but not the weekly Sabbath. It was a high Sabbath that year. And that year the high Sabbath was on a Thursday. It was the day before, so he died on Wednesday. Now listen to this. And when he died, he wasn't on the cross too long. They took him off, prepared his body, and had him in the tomb by late Wednesday. That is about sundown, around about 6 p.m. And from Wednesday to Thursday is 1, and to Friday is 2, and to Saturday is 3, so that Jesus rose not when the sun came up on Sunday morning. That's completely false. For the Bible says when they went to the tomb while it was yet dark, and he had already risen. He wasn't there. What happens was this. I know I'm talking fast, but if you, can, if you can grab hold of it. Today, for instance, for us in the Western world, this day, Sunday, will end at 12 midnight. Monday will begin uh, at 12 midnight. One minute past it, that's Monday. But not for the Jews. For those Jews back there, the day ended at sundown, approximately 6 p.m., so that Jesus fulfilled the 72 hours from he was put into the tomb, 6 p.m. on Saturday, and that was the beginning of Sunday, but nowhere near, nowhere near where the sun was going up. It was dark, and uh, he fulfilled it the three days and the three nights, and then he arose. He arose when? While it was yet dark on Saturday night, but it actually was Sunday to them because it was a minute or two after it. Let's look at question four, and I think I've already answered it. Did Jesus rise from the dead when the sun came up on Sunday morning? The answer is no. You may say, well, these things are not important. Maybe they're not. But how is it that church tradition has got us so off track and maybe off track in other areas too? While it was yet dark, I remember as a little boy, my mother used to waken me in what we call Easter Sunday morning, she used to say, this is the day that Christ arose so early from the dead. Why should I keep my eyelids closed and waste my time in bed? That's how my mother got me up. 